research has it that there are about 4,000 plus unique chords you can build on the piano. And the worst thing you will try to do as a beginner is to try to cram or memorize the notes that make up each of these um, individual chords on the piano. For instance, what um, most beginners will do, maybe if they want to play C major chord, knowing that C major chord contains C, E, and G, they have to start thinking, where's my C? Where's my E? Where's my G? Before actually playing the chord. Or maybe if they want to play D major chord, knowing that D major chord contains D, F sharp, and A, they have to start looking for the notes that has D, F sharp, and A before playing it. And if you are learning chords this way, this is actually one of the worst or the most difficult way to learn chords on the piano. I'm actually speaking from experience because I was also guilty of this when learning the piano. One disadvantage of learning chords this way is also that um, you are going to do a lot of thinking or calculation before actually playing a chord. That's way much stressful. Most times in many songs, there won't be time to think of the notes of the chord. You have to just be quick. For instance, something like this. You have to be quick in transiting from one chord to another, okay? No time to think, okay? So that's why I'm making this video to show you an easy trick that can help you to identify chords without even thinking much, okay? So let's get started. So the first trick that will help you to play chords without thinking much is actually focusing more on the um the finger shape or framework your hand tends to take for each unique chord type okay so meaning let's say for a major chord there's a unique shape or measurement our fingers tend to take for a major chord for a minor chord there's a unique measurement or let's say shape our fingers tend to take when it's a minor chord okay you understand the same thing applies for diminished chord there's a kind of unique shape our fingers tend to take or measurements when it's a diminished chord so they have to try to memorize the um, finger shape or let's say spacing that our hands tend to take for each chord quality okay so also the idea here is that if i should play any major chord on the piano let's say a major chord um, the shape my fingers tend to take is true for any other major chord on the piano so if i should play let's say a major chord i can just use this same shape to play c sharp major chord you can see this use the same shape to play e flat major chord understand i can use the same shape to play g sharp major chord and any other major chord on the piano um though there might be some little um kind of flaws to this trick but trust me it's way much better than cramming the notes of the chord so i'm not even thinking of the notes i'm not seeing the chord in terms of their notes all i'm just focused on is the shape my fingers tend to take and it's actually playing all the major chords you can see this. This is actually one trick that will help you to play chords faster. Focusing on the shape my fingers tend to take when it's a major chord. The same thing also applies to minor chord. For instance, this is C minor chord. So this shape is so this shape is roughly true for all other minor chords on the piano also. So I can just kind of freeze my hands, go to any other. So you can see this is G minor chord. You understand? C minor chord, F sharp minor chord, E minor chord, F minor chord. And so yeah, the only thing you kind of really need to be focused on is your thumb, okay? Because it's actually the thumb that strikes the root notes of each particular chord. So you just need to be focused on the thumb and the remaining fingers will actually fall in the right notes, okay? So for instance, I want to play F major chord my thumb must land must align with f because it's f major chord i want to play and these remaining fingers will automatically strike the remaining notes okay so i'm not even kind of thinking of the notes i'm just focused on the shape my hand takes for each unique chord type so the next way you can learn chord faster that is without thinking much is actually learning chords in group so in my own opinion i call this the similar chord trick so when i say similar chord what am i talking about um, similar chords are simply chords that share the same physical geometry or layout on the piano. So the idea here is kind of trying to like group all the 12 chords we have on the piano, that's all the 12 major chords we have on the piano, into kind of four groups, okay, based on how they physically appear on the piano. So the first group is actually called the white, white, white group, and the keys that fall under this group are key C, key F, and key G, okay. So instead of memorizing the notes of C major chord, of F major chord, and G major chord individually, what we can just do is to kind of visualize the shape, the white, white, white shape, and kind of just play it on any of the keys. 
you get this F major chord, G major chord, because they are all white notes. So the same thing too applies to the next group, which is the black, white, black group. So the keys under this group are C sharp, D sharp, and G sharp, okay? So whenever I want to play C sharp major chord, or D sharp major chord, or G sharp major chord, instead of thinking of the notes that make up each of these individual chords, all I need to do is just visual, kind of visualize the image that the, their group tend to take, that is black, white, black, and kind of just place my hand on D sharp major chord. So if I want to play C sharp, I just kind of visualize the shape and play C sharp. If I want to play G sharp, I kind of visualize the shape that is okay and play G sharp. Okay. So I think this is much more better than cramming the notes that make up each of these individual chords. Okay. So the same thing also applies to the third group of chords, which are the white, black, white. Okay. So the keys that fall under this group are actually D, E and A. So if I want to play D major chord, I'll just kind of visualize the image of the chord that is white, black, white, okay? And it becomes easy to play. If you want to play A major chord, I have to visualize the image that is white, black, white, okay? And play this, okay? Same thing to apply to E. So if you want to play E major chord, just visualize the image that is white, black, white, and play the E major chord. I think this is way more better than kind of cramming the notes that make up each of these chords. So the last group is what I actually call the unique shape group, okay? So in this case, the keys that fall under this group are B, B flat, and F sharp, okay? And if I say unique shape, I mean these chords don't share their shape with any other chord. So the shape is only distinct of them, that is unique of them. Like for instance, key B, if I want to play B major chord, the shape of key B is what is displayed on screen. So if I want to play B major chord, I have to visualize the shape of the chord, that is white, black, black, before playing the chord. The same thing to applies to B flat. If you want to play B flat major chord, I have to just visualize the shape that is black, white, white. Okay? So I feel it's better to kind of visualize the shape of the chord, the layout the chord tends to take instead of cramming the notes that make up the chord. The same to applies to F sharp. F sharp is among this group and the F sharp major chord contain all black. So anytime I want to play a sharp major chord, just think of all black notes. That is this. It's actually way much better. And after you've gotten your major chord using this method, to get the minor chord for all the groups becomes very simple. All you need to do is just to flat the third note of the scale and to get the diminished chord of that particular chord, all you need to, all you need to do is to flat the third and the fifth note of the scale so for instance if this is let's say let's pick one of the group of the white 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 that is let's pick f major chord if you want to turn into a minor all we need to do is just flat the third simple so, and if you want to turn into a diminished chord and maybe this is a major chord we just flat the third and the fifth it's same thing to applies to any key and any group type it's actually the same principle I hope you get the concept of the video, okay? So the idea here is just simply trying to make sure you not cram the notes of the chord. Don't try to memorize the notes that make up the chord. The idea here is kind of trying to visualize an image of how the chord appears physically. It the same thing applies to the first trick and the this second trick. All of them is centering towards trying to visualize how chords appear physically and not the shape. It's going to save you a lot of stress of memorizing the notes that make up each of the individual chords. So I hope you learned something new. If you learned something new, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. So we'll see you in our future videos.